take the lead. 37 yard field goal attempt from Aaron Jones. And he nails it. 50 to 48. Oh, oh. Has his options downfield. It is intercepted. Intercepted. Mike Hicks falls to the ground. And Baylor is going to have one of their biggest wins in years. First, you got to get on the board and then set up an onside kick. So back to action we go. And Reese waits and fires, and that is picked off. Joel Young. So they wait a long time to go out and turn it over again. But he'll learn from this and he'll continue to get better for this offense. And Ford breaks free at the five. Touchdown. Michael Ford. Sophomore from Leesville, Louisiana. The Sun Devils have done it. The win they were looking for. Ralph. Stop shot. No timeouts left. Three, two, one. Can you believe it? The Tigers have done it again in dramatic fashion. They go all three timeouts. South Carolina doesn't have any. Three wide receivers, and Murray couldn't even complete his trap. Then he fumbles the football. Jadavia Cloudy knocked it loose, and Melvin Ingram has scored again. Touchdown, South Carolina. And a two score lead for the Gamecocks with 3.12 to go. Hold it to a field goal, still a one possession game. But the run pressure, the run blitz pressure, they got to stop the ground game or they'll just pile it right down their throat into the inside. Deontay Skinner checked in for Lawrence. He's on the sideline. Lee throwing for the end zone. Randall's out there. Touchdown, LSU. Ruben Randall getting close to 100 yards receiving. He has the first score of the night. And with the extra point, LSU can go up by 10. Man coverage. Boyd on third and nine. Gets rid of it. Wide open. Watkins to the five. Touchdown, Clemson. Has time. Deflected. And a diving interception. At the 46-yard line is Javon Harris. His man breaking free, and he earned it that time. 22 yards, pump fake by Jones. Going to go deep down the far side. Got a man open to the end zone. Stills grabs a touchdown. Kenny Stills, what a pair of hands. Trick it. Does he have a trick up his sleeve? Fourth and nine. Pressure. Down he goes. Brooks and Claiborne are back. From the one is Claiborne. Bursts to the 35, 40, 45, midfield. Won't catch him, folks. A 99-yard kickoff return for a touchdown by sophomore Morris Claiborne from Shreveport, Louisiana. Makes it go with it. They got Michael in the backfield. Fourth down and two, and they will run it. And Michael is not going to get there. Slam down, and Arkansas will take over on downs. D.D. Dee Dee Jones, the first man there for the Razorbacks. It can happen in their favor. 
Trotter from the shotgun on third and five. Here comes Ingram. It's caught. Lutzen Kirkin drops it in the end zone, and they say touchdown. Trotter to Philip Lutzenkirchen on a wild 15-yard pass play, and Auburn has retaken the lead. They'll try and sneak it on second and goal. The pile moves. He's in. Touchdown, Kansas State. They'll throw it again. Interception. Bobber and held on to by Arthur Brown. The first interception of the season thrown by Robert Griffin. And it sets up Kansas State in the red zone. And he's got it. Pass right here. Batted down at the line. Jordan Volker knocked it down. And Kansas State is about to win it. He hates the two quarterback system, but the backup quarterback. <laughs> Third and goal. Touchdown, LSU, Alfred Blue. Oh. <laughs> Auburn has got to get something going here offensively, trailing by two touchdowns. Play action. Trotter fires down the middle, and it's intercepted. Coming the other way off the deflection. Jermaine Thomas with the interception. Yeah, the, the, this, the, the passing game has just been non-existent for Auburn. Compton off the field now. Third down and five. Miller after the fake. Great move behind the line of scrimmage. And he has the first down. The ball's out. And it looks like Ohio State. No, they say David got the football. And that's a legitimate play. He's not down. He just pulls it out. Exactly midway through the third quarter. Martinez, after a great fake, goes untouched into the end zone. Again, the three backs in the triangle around Martinez. Another good fake and a deep throw. Touchdown, Quincy Anunwa. Martinez. With Simon after him. Dumps it off. Burke had a nice move. Burke had up the sideline. Touchdown. <laughs> Blaserman throwing deep. Looking for Brown. It's intercepted. Stanley Jean Baptiste. He's only been on defense for three weeks. The converted wide receiver with his first career interception. He's John Simon, 54. Steady dose of Burkhead. Finds a seam inside the 10. Touchdown! Taking nearly four minutes off the clock. 4.40 to go. Ash needs to get rid of it. He lost the football, and Oklahoma State has recovered. Daytuan Lowe knocked it out, and Cooper Bassett recovered for the Cowboys. Getting success with pressure all day. They pass Chris Spielman, Urban Meyer, Quinn Kesnick on the field. Here is a blitz, and Robinson throws a pick. Intercepted by Isaiah Lewis to the house. Touchdown, Spartans. Guy is one of the best finishers of a run that I've seen in a long time in college football. Takes a handoff again, breaks three tackles, gets away, and Trent Richardson picking up a couple blocks. He might take it. Cuts back, stays on his feet. What a move! Shake it, bake it, and he makes it. Touchdown. And 10. 
McCaleb in motion. Mosley fires it out. Intercepted. It's going to go Ron Brooks for the touchdown. Go back inside the 10 yard line. I said Nick Toon, but they put Jared Abradaris back there instead. Three man rush. Cousins. On the last play of regulation, chucks it to the end zone. Caught. Michigan State's caught it on a rebound. Tuck. Hold on. It is just short of the end zone. Instant replay. We'll take a look at this. After further review, the runner did cross the line. The goal line touchdown. touchdown. Michigan State. With a miracle ending or less before they snap it. All the way down to the final second. Daigie going to the end zone, wanting more and getting it. Oh, my. Touchdown. No signal yet. Swindle yes. thought he had his, head, uh, his uh, foot down, and he did. <laughs> Tremaine Swindle yes. and Dan is saying, this is, that's how I talk to kid. Four touchdown passes for Seth Daigie. Need 10. From the backside, Jarvis Jones with his fourth sack of the day. I tell you, Xavier Nixon has found out what it may be like to play on the next level. Going on, we get set. A half minute to play in the fourth quarter. Miller flushed, wants to throw. Now he's going to do what he can with his legs. No, he will throw. Lobs it to the end zone. Touchdown. Devin Smith! McNeil fumble! Cardinals win it! The win streak continues! the three fourth down Robinson end zone broken up Iowa wins 24 16 22 now Herbie third down and one and they got it Randall breaks free in zone Oklahoma State regains the lead Joseph Randall breaks in, but there's a lot of time for the never quit kids from Manhattan. Klein rolls to the right, fires high and incomplete, and Oklahoma State will survive a scare. 52-45, one of the guttiest performances we've seen by quarterback Colin Klein and the Kansas State Wildcats, coached by Bill Snyder. LSU remains undefeated. Been a good lead blocker. It's red. And he's hit. And he, I don't think he got it. Levante David made the stop. We'll see where they spot it, though. Of the runner being short of the first down stands. First down, Nebraska. So the video evidence not indisputable, but seemed pretty clear from what we saw that he was short, so it's a Nebraska ball. Now, you see Paul Hall now 23 out of 36, 448 yards. The double pump. Brandon Carter is open. Touchdown, Horn Frogs. Brandon Carter to bring his team within one. Now the two-point conversion that would put them ahead by one. And very interesting decision to have the football on the left hash. Rolling out and firing. Josh Boyce with
with the catch and the two. TCU leads by one. From 31 and 32 so far this year. We call it 39 yards. Dan Goodall pushed it. Pushed to the right. And TCU wins 36 to 35. 35 consecutive wins at home for Boise State. In the rearview mirror, the Horn Frogs come up with the win. Intercepted. Should have been caught. Instead, it's going to be a pick six. Take it in by Lacombo. I thought, looking at the play live, that it should have been caught. But we'll wait and take a look at replay here. Uh, it, it looked like it was right in his arms. And I, you know, that's more impressive to me than any number that you could talk about. What Andrew Luck did right there to a true freshman after throwing a pick six, he goes right up to him and he pats him on the helmet. That's more impressive than anything that I've seen all night tonight from Andrew Luck. It's and Barnett's the quarterback in the gun. Woody. Touchdown! They did it! Second and 13. And that ball's floating in the air and picked up by Kendall Wright. Touchdown, Bears. Sometimes you'd rather be lucky than good. The bounce into the arms goes for an 87-yard touchdown. And now the squib kick. He takes a bounce. That's a live ball. And Baylor tries to come up with it. And they may have. And they have. Baylor is going to close this show. A special team's mistake by the Sooners. It's within his strike zone. So this to send us to overtime. Maldonado on the way. Pulled it left. No good. USC upsets Oregon. Another big player in the BCS drama falls. One o'clock at five. Here's Miller. Gonna throw. It's tipped. It's intercepted. Picked off by Courtney Avery. Michigan ball. and LSU. All the records out the window. These are great competitive matchups and this one coming right down to the line. Mike Sherman can hardly bear to look. Justin Tucker from 40 yards out for the game. It's up. The Longhorns win it. behind a big offensive line running for the Detroit Lions and you couldn't locate him until it was too late and then they make big plays downfield. For a team that plays fast, they know how to milk the clock with a lead. Second and seven. Thomas pulls it out and top touchdown! David Paulson, 22 yards.
of the great nicknames in college football. And, oh, another dandy. Matthew backs up, grabs it at the 38-yard line. Looks for a little blocking help. Gets it. Breaks a tackle. Cuts left. Avoids a teammate. Heads for the corner. And he's done it again. He sure did. Intercepted. Picked off by Morris Claiborne. Heads to the five. In for the touchdown. America Stadium here in Charlotte. While you were gone, Frank Beamer said that they got away with a horse collar on my quarterback. And now Taj Boyd going downfield. He's got the fellow open. The freshman Watkins takes it in. Speed kills. And Sammy Watkins from Fort Myers, Florida for 53 yards. 4.23 to go. Big play for Russell Wilson. Wilson looking. Fires across the field. Oh, what a catch at the six-yard line. Duckworth, 36 yards. Coming back for the football. So on fourth and six, they get 36. The handoff, touchdown, Wisconsin. Money ball, seven yards, and the Badgers retake the lead. Maybe get him to the edge with a run pass option. Out of the shotgun. Ball standing next to him. Wilson in trouble. Reverses. Wilson back in the end zone. They got it. Patterson. What a play by Russell Wilson. Attack and use his speed. So third down and 10. And Spencer Ware in as the running back. This is Ware, well short of the first down. Upshaw with the tackle. Shelley nails it, and that is huge for his confidence. He was lethal in the pregame warm-up, and Alabama takes an early field goal lead. Plus chances and get to third and three to four. Nickel coverage on this. They drop it off to Blue, who's going in reverse against that defense that time. And that was C.J. Mosley. C.J. Mosley had Alfred Blue man for man coming out of the backfield. And what was amazing is with that hurry up, Mosley's just running out of the field. And he looks up and he's, oh, I got four. I got him. Hands over to the left. First down and ten. Final seconds of the opening quarter. And here's McCarron. Going to go deep. Leaping catch. Ball is grabbed at the 38-yard line, and Norwood, off the bench, made the leaping catch for Bama. It's a fake. Shovel pass inside. Got... Oh, it's going to be close. It is really going to be close. Underwood. Everybody said, why didn't Saban pooch punt? Why didn't he fake? Saban was listening. On second down, the delay. Richardson's got daylight. 40, 35. Going to be run out of bounds. Close to the 25-yard line. Eric Reed coming over. But he saw the daylight. No one outside to the left. And like the good runner is, he cut in that direction. 20 yards. Brent faked one earlier with their other kicker. Nails this one. Here we go again. <laughs> Alabama up by a pair of field goals in the BCS championship. Teams player, son of an Alabama assistant coach. Low snap. Jefferson picks it up. Nothing doing. They are forced to punt. 
So they burn a timeout. They come up with another sloppy play, and it continues. And, and this is coming out of a timeout. The safeties are deep for LSU. McCarron on the move. Throws on the run to the sideline. Norwood. Yeah, Kevin Norwood with another opportunity. The sophomore is making some plays. How about A.J. McCarron keeping the play alive, getting away from pressure. I'll tell you, he's a better athlete than I think people realize. It's 6'4", 205 pounds. McCarron is the quarterback and holder. Four seconds remaining. It'll get put down on the 32. Here comes a 42-yarder for Jeremy Shelley. Laces were spun beautifully, and he puts them up by three field goals. Well, A.J. McCarron talking about emotion, seeing him run off the field. First half, he is without a doubt the MVP of that effort by playing quarterback, and as you said, spinning the laces there to give his kicker, Shelley, a chance. And they're actually going after Matthew in man coverage. Now that slip screen to the outside, and Bell catches an alley and Bill in a foot race is out of bounds Eric Reed chasing him and the young man takes it all the way into the red zone right now for Bama defensive credit they're giving up yards but they're not giving up touchdowns so Jeremy Shelley for 35 yards this time slides it through from the right hash Jeremy Shelley 12, LSU, nothing. Jefferson's in trouble. Brought down, sacked by Courtney Upshaw. And that should have been respected. So it is first down and 10, A.J. McCarron and Alabama. And up by four field goals. McCarron going to go deep. At the 49-yard line, Kevin Norwood again. Defense dominating first down. Spencer Ware coming in. Need a dozen to get to the first down marker. Jefferson. Interception. Threw it away. A horrible mistake. Mosley's got it. Bama is in business again. Well, tremendous play here, and again, LSU and Jordan Jefferson. He just throws the ball up, just trying to shovel pass here as he started to scramble. Six. Where is the running back? Sacked. Can't get it off. Down at the 17-yard line. The tide rolling. Gentry in on the quarterback. We're going to officially say it's a 44-yarder. McCarron puts it down for him, and he bangs on it. Got it! A 44-yarder for Jeremy Shelley. That's a career long. Up to this point, there's nothing that LSU can do to try to move the football. Remember the name Kirby Smart. He's going to be the next one to leave Coach Saban's staff down the road. He's a great young coach. Got to hurry with the clock coming down. And nothing doing. Copeland, the fullback. Gentry again. He's blowing up the middle of that offensive front. You know, all the names like Josh Chapman and Jesse Williams, Damian Square. But I'll tell you, a guy that's been able to make as many plays for this Alabama front is Nick Gentry, the senior. Just a grinder as a defensive lineman. Uses his leverage in his hands. And that time slipped right by the guard. Jim McElwain calling the plays. Hammering away at the clock right now. And Richardson breaks free on the sideline. End zone. How about that? Finally, a touchdown between these two. The eighth quarter of warfare between Alabama and LSU, and Bama scores on a 34-yard touchdown run by the Doak Walker Award winner, Trent Richardson. But Jordan Jefferson has just not been able to get into a rhythm tonight. 
and he down at the 19 yard line. High tower again, number 30. And what is it about Alabama for the third straight year? That trophy is going back twice with the Tide and, of course, last year with Auburn. Amazing. It's amazing to think about the legend of Nick Saban and how it just continues to grow after the championship two years ago. What this defense was able to do tonight to lead them to yet another national championship for the Crimson Tide. So on fourth down. Remember last time in the championship, they hit him over the head when they tried to get the water? Let's see if he told them, be careful this time, fellas. Alabama gets a second chance and makes the most of it. They win the BCS championship behind Coach Nick Saban and quarterback A.J. McCarron.